peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. It's just days away, and the next major hurricane is in the pipeline. Tropical Depression 13 has formed in the Atlantic, and this is what was Invest 95L. The National Hurricane Center forecasts it to grow into a powerful hurricane by the end of the week. This is the first time we've ever seen the National Hurricane Center forecast a Category 4 hurricane for a tropical depression in the Atlantic. Let that sink in. We take a live look right now. The beautiful Four Seasons Resort in Barnes Bay, that's in Anguilla, courtesy of EarthCam. It's just one of many islands in the Eastern Caribbean that we need to watch the progress of this system. The next name on the list is Lee. That will likely be assigned to Tropical Depression 13, but it's not happened technically yet. Also bears watching the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico too. Now, there was storms of reference. No surprise here when we're talking about this part of the Caribbean. The southern portion of the eyewall of Hurricane Luis hit Aguila on this date back in 1995, so a significant day today. We also have seen the island of Anguilla get thrashed by Luis. More recently, that notable Hurricane Irma in 2017. It damaged about 90% of Anguilla's government buildings, the island's electricity, the infrastructure, tough times. And as we're looking at now TD13, we look at these frames of reference and we talk about these hurricanes because Anguilla Kiana, one of the islands, dangerously close. The cone of uncertainty, that's what's really been you know, issued with this first advisory. Right. And that's also the one that's gaining a lot of the headlines now, thinking that the intensity, a cat four, right now we're looking at just a TD. Right, and you mentioned this is the first time the National Hurricane Center has done something to this extent, where they're forecasting for a Category 4 storm from the idea of what is just the Tropical Depression 13 at this point in time. So this is going to be a system that is going to really rapidly organize itself and then rapidly intensify from there. We're looking at well into the end of the week. We have a number of Caribbean islands that are going to be at least on the southern periphery of that forecast cone that we have to watch for. Anguilla being one, St. Martin, as well as Barbuda being two other that we have to continue to watch. But look at how close it is to Puerto Rico with its highest winds, 140 mile per hour winds expected towards the end of the weekend. And Puerto Rico will have to really watch for you. It looks like the bulk of the higher winds will be a little closer towards the center of circulation, but the winds will be felt wide and wide span, uh, of course, across the island of Puerto Rico as well. This is the initial advisory, and we can't stress that enough. Things are going to change. The Hurricane Center mentioning that there will be tweaks to this, but the fact that we have in this part of the Caribbean some of these islands under that threat, it's concerning. And this could be at a moment and at a point where this cyclone is at its strongest, likely to be a major hurricane. So with that on the table, we look at the uncertainties. Where do we still have some remaining questions? We were looking just then at the spaghetti plots as we look at the overall evolution of TD13 and then our Fox model indicating that we could have a powerhouse of a storm. And I know we're looking at that center, but let's not get distracted by the center. Depending on how strong this storm is, how compact, how large it is, that'll all be determined, but we're going to feel the impacts, at least indirectly, in Anguilla, in Puerto Rico, perhaps, maybe on the North Shores. It's better to be on the western side of a, of a storm than on the eastern side when we look at where the worst of it might be, but there could be tweaks with this, and, and let's keep in mind, we're talking about a system right now that is just a tropical depression, and by tomorrow, a tropical storm. By Thursday, a hurricane. Yeah, as you mentioned, it's better to be on the western side. I wasn't sure if yeah. we were rounding out that segment or not, but I do want to talk about the steering mechanism before we do. Um, we have an area of high pressure over the Atlantic, and as long as that stays where it is, it's going to help kind of steer uh, Tropical Depression 13 back around and away from the United States. So if you're thinking long term, you live on the southern uh, or the southeast um, shoreline or maybe the east coast in general, and you're thinking, well, how does this impact me? At this point in time, that is a huge question mark. It's a little too early to go ahead and pinpoint something. But here's an idea of where we could see things being positioned later into the week. So we look at Thursday. At this point in time, we likely will have a hurricane on our hands. But as long as this area of high pressure stays in place, it's going to help guide, along with this trough in place over the East Coast, guide that depression or that hurricane at that time back out towards sea. And that would be the better scenario that we would hope for in a case like this. And, and I know 
we're already getting Tropical Depression 13 making some of these headlines, but what a season we have had so far with our climatological peak occurring here in just a matter of days. Another major hurricane very much on the table. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.